Let's talk about how to prevent divorce in the first place. I would rather not meet you in my office to have a divorce consult. I would rather you learn to be a better partner now so that you don't ever need a divorce. And one of the tools that I recommend highly is Fair Play. And it is a book written by Harvard educated attorney, Eve Rodsky. She also has a card game that goes along with it by the same name, Fair Play. And there's a hundred cards. And if you are a couple without children, you're gonna have 60 cards you're looking at. But if you're a couple with children, and that is the couple that I would highly recommend Fair Play to, or couples with children, you'll have these 100 cards. And your first course of action with your spouse is to sit down and go through the cards. And it's not to figure out who's doing more work and who's you know, not carrying their weight. It's really to figure out what cards can you throw out. Not every family can focus on all 100 cards. Not everybody cares about all 100 cards. When my husband and I sat down and looked at the cards, I mean, we could throw out 30 of them off the top, you know, really quickly. And those were things we didn't really care about. It wasn't important to us. And so, you know, those aren't going to be things that we're going to be picking a fight over. If we actually both don't care, let's just get rid of that. And let's really focus on the ones that matter. And then once you get that deck that actually matters to either or both of you, then you start divvying up the cards and look at, you know, what is important to you individually and just see where that lands. And then you'll need to go in even deeper and go through and explain why certain things are important. And this is the real magic of fair play is being able to have those deeper conversations around what is the humanity behind the card. And it could be something as simple as writing a thank you note, you know, having your children write written, handwritten thank you notes after they get a gift. One party might be all about these written thank you notes. The other parent could be like, I could care less, or they could send an email, or why does this matter? Explaining why it matters is the key to the success. And it is the key to being a better partner because you are actually communicating and you are understanding each other's humanity. So many couples break up over these kind of nagging things. I mean, in fair play, they're called the daily grind cards, you know, things like cooking dinner, cooking breakfast, getting the kids ready for school and those types of things understanding where each person is coming from. You might have a partner who grew up in a roach infested home and making sure the dishes are clean and the kitchen is spick and span every night before you all go to bed is a deep seated thing for your partner. Whereas for another partner, that might not mean anything. You might not care. You might not have ever seen a roach in your life. Maybe you grew up where you didn't have them. And so it wasn't an issue, but these are the type of things that fair play in the card game will bring to your attention and will help you be so much of a better partner and thus hopefully keep you away from my office.